Well, I promised everybody that watches my channel this would be my last uh, that the last fan video I made would be the last fan video for a while. Strictly speaking, though, this isn't entirely a fan video. This is actually another one of the contraptions that I've come up with. You might remember I got another one of these furnace fans given to me recently, and this one is actually set up such that it is a uh, multi-tapped, multi-speed motor. Well, the way that I had been powering it up just on a test basis was to have two wires jammed into an outlet strip duct taped to this. Yes, I said duct taped. Never underestimate just how high-end things can be around here at times. And then, I just had a crimp-on connector on the end of the wire, and I'd move it to the tap that I wanted to have. Well, I wanted to change that and make it better. So what I've got here is actually a way to select master power on-off right there with an indicator light. And then these, these th switches here, of which there will be a fourth soon, these switches down here actually let you select a speed for the fan to run at. Now, right now I have them wired up and they're color coded, I'm sure you can notice. This one is low speed, this one is medium low, this one is medium high, and the last one here will be high. Now the way that this works, I actually wanted to set this up such that it would not be possible to energize any more than one motor winding at a time. I'm not sure what that would do, I don't know if it would be bad or good, and I didn't decide to try it because I didn't really want to burn this little motor up. But these switches, these three switches right here, are actually three-way switches. And they're wired such that when they, they have power coming into them, and if they're off, power goes right through them and on to the next switch, and it repeats that until it reaches the end. When you turn a switch on, however, it kills power to the switches after it. So if I turn this switch on and energize the low speed winding of the motor, these two switches can be flipped and they won't do anything at all until this one is turned off. Likewise, if I have this switch on and I later turn this one on, the motor will simply shift down to its lowest speed. So it's no problem at all. I also put 30 feet of very nice, very heavy electrical cord on there with a very nice, very heavy plug. So now, here's the demonstration that I'm sure you've all been eagerly awaiting. And there is my mother going to work in the silver Buick. But I digress. The first thing you have to do is turn power on with this switch right here. And the light comes on in there to indicate that you've got power. And then, the fan won't run right now because all these switches are off. But you pick a switch for the speed that you want. For example, if we pick low speed, the motor will start. And the motor will get up to speed. Even low speed moves a lot of air on this thing. Now if we try to turn on either one of these two other switches, they have no effect because they have been taken out of circuit and electrical power is being delivered straight to the little motor. So we can turn that off and let the fan spin itself down. Now if I pick medium high, the motor spins up a lot faster. Now let's say I want to turn on a switch before that. Well if I turn on a switch before that, the motor speed will drop because this switch goes out of circuit and this switch goes and redirects the power instead of going down to this switch, it goes out to the motor on its lowest speed. But if I turn that off, power goes back to that switch the motor kicks up again. Now the first three switches by necessity have to be three ways because I have to have a way to allow electrical current to pass from one to the other. But since the last one here is on the end and has nowhere to go but to the high speed side of the motor itself, this black wire, all it has to be is a conventional single way switch just like you'd have in most of the rooms of your house. And because I wanted these to be different colors I thought that at first I'd get a gray switch but I couldn't find anybody around here selling a gray switch. No problem finding brown ones, beige ones, white ones, all kinds. I finally turned to eBay and found a red switch there, which seemed very appropriate to me, and it was just the right type to go in there. So when that comes in, I'm going to add it. And then to finish things off here, you know, I have to keep this fan standing up using that brick right there or a similar object. I'm going to put either a wood or a sheet metal skid along the bottom of it to keep it from falling over. 
Anyway, I just wanted to share those things with you. Hopefully you will forgive me making another fan video in the light of the fact that I've made uh, a couple other videos today about cars and computers. Anyway, thank you for watching.